A few weeks back, I showcased the Silent Hill series on my channel, and on PCSX2, the games were running with texture packs. That led to the inevitable question from viewers, how do you even do it? Well, it's not that hard really. You should start by downloading and installing the latest nightly build of PCSX2. The stable releases do not support texture modding. Also, make sure you have a discrete GPU with at least 4GB of video RAM. Vulkan should be your first choice renderer because it utilizes more of your hardware resources than DirectX or OpenGL. As for the texture packs, they can be found in GBA Temp. It's a popular website and a source for many great mods. I want to download a texture pack for Silent Hill Origins, so I'll search for it here. Unfortunately, mods can prove elusive to find unless you're willing to jump over obstacles. And you'll see what I mean as we progress further. For example, there are no download links on this page, just a lot of videos. In this case, the mod author wants you to click on the relevant video first and go to his YouTube channel. Finally, if you look in the description, you'll find the download link. It's an annoying way of going about it, but this is what GBA temp is mostly like. Nothing is ever straightforward. Now the mod author wants you to subscribe to his channel. If you don't do it, you can't access the file for download. It's really annoying, but there's nothing you can do about it. Just subscribe and get it over with to continue. And now we can finally download the file. Before installing the texture pack, however, there are a few things we have to do. Right click on the game's profile and select properties. Go to the graphics tab and then texture replacement. Now make sure to tick the following boxes. On rare occasions, you'll also have to activate this, but only a few games rely on the function. After this, you must run the game at least once, if only for a minute. This will create important folders inside the emulator. Alright, we're in the final stretch now. Right click on the emulator's icon and select open file location. Go into the textures directory. You'll see the newly created folder which was made when we ran the game for the first time. Now all that's left is to extract the contents into the folder. Just watch what I do. After this you can play with beautiful graphics. That's it for this video. If you found it useful, please remember to give a like. It really helps with the algorithm. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.